to enable someone else to do the sport that I love is just like the ultimate gift, I think. I, there's nothing better. I, I don't even race alone anymore because I just enjoy guiding so much. My name's Carolyn Gaynor. I guide visually impaired athletes in triathlons. I act as a coach if it is called for. I don't come into it thinking I'm coaching this person, but if I feel like I can say something that might be helpful, I will, but that's an understanding that you have with the athlete. It's my responsibility to make sure that they enjoy the experience and have a good race. Because it's not, the, the main point here is, it's not my race, it's my athlete's race. It has nothing to do with me. I do consider myself a competitive person, but at the same time, I think I just enjoy the experience of racing. It's such an amazing bond, and that's why I'm like, so lucky to do what I do. Nutrition, especially in an Ironman event, nutrition can be everything. I mean, yeah, you have to train, you have to be prepared, but if your nutrition goes bad, your race is over. I don't care how fit you are, it's done. Back in the day, goo was the only thing that was available. I mean, I, I used Triberry goo in my first like, five years of triathlons because that's all that there was. Gels, I think, are the best thing for me in the longer races because it's just the easiest thing to get down. You don't have to worry. But again, the nutritionist can make or break your race. It will make or break your race. What's interesting about those endurance races is that you can have at this point a third of the way through where you feel like you've hit a wall and you can't go on. And then you break through it and then you feel invincible for another couple of hours and then you hit another wall. And then it's all about just riding it out. I love the idea of like races of attrition. I, I love the races where you're not sure if you can finish. And I think there's something about guiding that makes almost every race sort of feel like that because you don't know what elements are going to come into play. Sometimes, you know, it's not about being like, Rachel, you look awesome. Sometimes it's like, I know this really sucks and it sucks for me too. Like, it sucks for me and I feel you, but we're going to get to the end and that's okay. And sometimes I'm the person leading, you know, absolutely. Like, sometimes I'm the one that's just like, you know, I'm, I need a little pep talk because I'm hurting. You can be friends, absolutely, but you, you have to respect the fact that it's their race. There, there's no better way to test a friendship, but there's also no better way to become seriously close with somebody. <laughs> 17 hours tied to one person. Yeah. <laughs>